All right, so tonight I am talking about my coaching question of the year and it's reflective inquiry, which is not totally a question, but it is also a question. Um, so my wish this year is for us as a collective um, in our practices is to get us all out of the cycle of solutionizing our clients. And we all do this. We hear a problem, aha, uh -huh, 14 solutions. Um, okay, so here's the scenario I wanna play with is you've been working with a client for three months. It's your fourth follow-up and they have yet to increase their water consumption and they are still frustrated by their dehydration symptoms and you have given almost all of your tips and tricks, and now your options, your patients are dwindling, yet another solution is on the tip of your tongue. This is the full stop moment. I want to insert my coaching question of the year, which is reflective inquiry. Okay, so let me just orient here a little bit. So questions are different than, that's different than inquiry. So I think of questions as above uh, this, the water line. So questions gather data, they uh, gather stories, results, behaviors, short-term memory, and access short-term memory. Inquiry gets us underneath the water line. It looks at emotions and thinking, breakthroughs, aha moments. It has this brain rewiring effect and it accesses long-term memory or as I like to think of it, the whole ocean of possibility and change. So the best questions are, client, are questions that make clients realize that there are gaps in their reasoning. And so what are these best questions? Okay, so again, we're talking about reflective inquiry ultimately. So a question shifts into inquiry when a reflective state when reflective statements are used before the question so reflective statements summarizing paraphrasing drawing distinctions those are all reflective statements these tools are more powerful and easier to use than seeking the not a real thing best question so your simple algorithm is this, reflective statements plus questions equals reflective inquiry. Okay, so as nutritionists, we often are telling people what to do, right? And when we tell them to drink more water, it accesses a person's short-term memory where learning is least effective. If your water recommendation agrees with their current knowledge or affirms what they think to be true, they're doing that water. They are drinking more water, no questions asked. If it doesn't, it's out the window, out of sight, out of mind. they like, they never heard it. How many times do you encounter this in follow-ups? You discussed it, you made a goal around it, it's on the recommendations that you sent them, and then you ask about it in the follow-up and crickets, just crickets. When clients don't work on the recommendations we so thoughtfully put together, our first inclination is to offer another solution. What if before any recommendations or another solution, we sought this reflective inquiry? right? Reflective inquiry that's utilizing those reflective statements, summarizing, paraphrasing, mirroring, drawing distinctions on why they don't drink water in the first place. What are the questions beyond how much water are you drinking? All right, so here's the client scenario. Drinking water feels like a chore, and I do all of the chores as a single mother. I want to drink more, but when I see my water bottle full at the end of the day, I feel so overwhelmed and defeated and out of gas 
And if I drink it, I know I'll be up all night in the bathroom. So as the practitioner, a few things you're listening for. A few key words, key statements, chore, overwhelm, defeated, out of gas. As the practitioner, I might say, so what I'm hearing is that drinking more water feels like a chore. And as a single mom, you are maxed out on chores and you feel so defeated by the end of the day. It seems like drinking water and feeling overwhelmed have gotten mixed up together. Water aside, can you share more about the overwhelm, feeling defeated and out of gas? My example is drawing distinctions, right? This client has conflated drinking water and overwhelm. These two things are not together. The reflective statement is used to help her think about what she is saying. Client isn't avoiding water because they don't want it or because she knows she should drink more. She's avoiding overwhelm in her life. Can your inquiry help draw distinctions as I've done in this example? Can you use words, their words, like summarizing to provoke self-reflection and possibility? Could you replay their words so they hear what they are saying so they could find their own shift? Okay, so again, reflective statement plus question equals reflective inquiry. The question that follows the reflective statement, it seals the deal. It creates the shift in awareness that resolves the issue or it prompts some new action. Reflective statements prompt the client to think about what they're willing to do now that they better understand what needs to be done. My offer to you this year is to lean into those reflective statements, then questions. Again, reflective statements plus questions equals inquiry. It generates inquiry. Inquiry is your ticket as a practitioner to working smarter, not harder. You do not need to have all of the solutions to the answer and answers for your clients. If you practice listening, reflecting, recapping, summarizing, mirroring, clarifying, encapsulating, drawing distinctions before asking another question, please, please, please let me know if your recommendations simplify, if your client outcomes change, and if you feel the weight and responsibility of having to know everything and know all the solutions, if that disappears, please, please, please let me know. And a PS to you, this is an absolute favorite book. It was mentioned on a call last week, Coaching the Person, Not the Problem. Highly, highly recommend. Again, you don't need to have all of the solutions. You don't have to work. You don't have to do 10 times the work as your, that your client is doing. You simply reflect back to them what it is, what they are, what they are saying, what they are doing. Ask a simple question that follows that. Reflective statements plus questions equals reflective inquiry, my offer to you this year. I'll see you all again.